up here the day before season which is quite late this year archery season it's November 24th the day after Thanksgiving classically we would have been hunting bucks since last Saturday but our lovely game commission moved everything back a week so that's okay we still get lots of uh, lots of activity here later actually no very in November first week of December so we're coming up through you know a lot of this bluffy country we've got a trail a couple of trails that come through an opening here on the other side is reed broad we've had cameras soaking in here for a week we hung two tree stands on another ridge last weekend so this is kind of final preparation we'll check these cameras hang this stand and then we'll head over to that other ridge and we'll uh, check those cameras and then we'll make a game plan we'll figure out somewhere to sit sure it's hard to beat this country so there's some big bucks in here well I don't know at least one really big one there's a dude thank you for not taking the camera I don't think you saw it though there he goes that buck just looks way wider to me that's a hog I had it all decided until I saw pictures of bucks and then it gets serious and you're like you really overthink it you should probably just stick with what I had already decided Oh, opening morning. It's weird, it's a lot colder at home than it is up here. Yeah. I hike up this ridge here, get to my tree, nice and early, get settled in well before daylight, and we'll wait it out. Late season, 2023. And a smaller buck come by, yeah. down the hill a ways, and can't call it. Yeah. And just came running, running across the hillside below me. He was just kind of going out of his mind, running back and forth up like he's looking for something. Makes me think there's probably a hot dog in here or something. Well, after two o'clock now, I haven't seen another deer since that little pup. I took a little nap. I was really excited when the sun got to me. The cold. It's uh, getting closer, you know, to high activity time another hour or two. I feel like the deer that are around are going to be on their feet. Just need one to be on its feet right there on that trail. Big one. Yeah. Just just a giant. That's it. Just one giant buck right there. 15 yards. That's all I need. Start putting some stuff together and get ready to get down and out of here. It's all one deer in daylight. But I feel like you could easily go two or three days without even seeing it. Style of hunting in this country. No bait or anything, but it's just over the years we've had enough pictures. It's like, man, if you could just stay in one spot for long enough, one of these big bucks will slip up and you'll kill him. So that's kind of the strategy we're going for this year, especially in here. I'm just kind of after one buck because of one picture of one buck. But he looks like a really wide, big board point. He could be 130, he could be 150. We'll never know unless he comes back through. Good morning. Morning of day two. It's about 3.45 and I'm headed up the mountain. Uh, I'm going to get in here hopefully nice and early this time. I don't know that I'll sit all day today. The trouble is, it's just like it's shooting light. You never know when they're going to come by. So, you might just be here today. It's just pretty dying. We'll see. Hopefully I don't even have to make that decision. Maybe I'll whack that buck for second one.
So that was a huge bug. That's the bug. That is a freaking pig. I shot him quarter two a little bit. Right there. 11 yards. Please, God, let him be dead. He's got to be dead. I'm on the spot, I'm on the same time. And I come up to a little sway over, it's blocked from the wind. And uh, I look for only 40 yards to block. And I'm like, oh, this is a dead bug. Draw back. And I hit a limb, and I saw my arrow just fly off to the left. So I thought I missed him. And I'm tracked where I thought he went look below me, and he's laying like he can't move. And so I shoot him again, and he's dead. <laughs> and this is a giant buck. I saw the drop tide before I do back. <laughs> all I did was see a drop tide. It was like, oh, like, you know, it just like hits you. Oh, this is crazy. Do you know, I've, I've actually been filming this whole thing. And so like, we could probably make a pretty cool video out of this whole deal. I so. Dude, I'm going to film my recovery. So um, I'll at least do that. But yeah, I didn't have my GoPro on or nothing. How, many, how big do you think he is? He's not difficult. He has the frame of like a 130 buck, but just like points, extra points. So like one, look 140s probably. That's what I'm thinking this buck is too, so. Oh, that's awesome, dude. bigger. I just, yeah, I ran up fast. <laughs> well, all right, well, make sure he's still there. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, bud. Okay, okay, see ya. Bye. So Nathan shot a buck, I think, at like the exact same time as me. I, like he said 15 minutes ago, I, I shot that buck about 20 minutes ago. So we're both on high country black tails and you know, we always bounce stuff off of each other. And I've bounced a lot more off of Nathan than he's bounced off of me because he's got a lot more experience. You know, he grew up doing, doing the high country thing. And so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Whew. Just for the, I mean, I feel like I pounded him. He's got to be dead, but for the fact that I, he was quartering too, I'm just giving him a little bit of time. So, basking in the glory of the Lord in this day and this amazing buck. So, pretty confident in the shot. A little bit of a harrowing blood trail. He went farther. He went farther than what I would have liked. Holy cow! That's one of the best blacktail I've ever seen. If not the. That is a giant. That is a giant. It's one of the most impressive blacktails I've ever seen. I don't know, I've seen a couple. Maybe in this category, but just a, an amazing buck. I got one trail cam photo of him and he was a mystery. All we could see was this left side going away. You could see it was out past his ear ways, looked really big. He's got the Roman nose. He's just gorgeous. You know, he doesn't have the double throat patch, but man, his markings are just so crisp. There's a lot of brown in this forehead patch. You know, blacktail are just a, they're such a special animal. And this one's, uh, you know, just is really, really special. Uh, just, you don't find them like this too often. This is, like I said, one of the best bucks I've ever seen in person. One of the better bucks I've ever had on camera. And I just feel, you know, really fortunate and really blessed. You know, the Lord looked after me today kept me safe, give me an opportunity at a magnificent animal like this. It's, it's pretty special. It's 26th of November, it's the second day of season this year. Get this guy all ordered up and we'll pack him off the mountain. But man, what a what a special day. Got him out. <clears throat> Meat's hanging. I had somebody coming down from cutting a Christmas tree stop and they gave me a beer. You know who you are, thank you. That was a good deal, so. Run back up here and grab my tree stand and the rest of my gear that I got at the tree stand. So, about doer. And yeah, I gotta set this pack down and put that tripod and camera back on my pack. So, it was all for show. But we won't tell everybody that. <laughs>